Today we will demonstrate a Soxlet extractor setup. We will offer a comprehensive breakdown of its setup, operation, and typical applications. Every crucial facet of this extractor configuration will be elucidated. In this demonstration, we will extract nicotine from tobacco along with other ethanol-soluble compounds. The object of interest is the Soxlet extractor apparatus, which exists in numerous sizes and materials. Variations of this apparatus can range from very small to considerably larger than the one presented here. Of particular note in the Soxlet extractor apparatus is the characteristic siphon, pivotal to its operation. This device capitalizes on a continuous solvent extraction methodology, which will be thoroughly outlined during the course of this experiment. The standard choice for holding samples in the Soxlet extractor is the opaque, disposable cellulose thimble. These molded filters fit within the well of the Soxlet extractor. However, for the purpose of this video, a reusable transparent glass sample holder is employed to provide enhanced insight into the workings of the Soxlet apparatus. This glass sample holder is equipped with a glass frit filter at its base. A critical requirement for the successful setup of the Soxlet system is that the sample holder, or thimble, extends higher than the solvent outlet tube located on the side of the Soxlet well. This condition is essential for the correct performance. An Allen condenser, coupled with a chilled water recirculator, is employed. This specific condenser boasts a small extension or spout, ensuring that the condensed ethanol drips onto the sample within the holder. This feature is not present in all condensers. Without this central condensate outlet, there's a risk that the solvent might traverse the glass surfaces of the condenser and extractor, missing the sample holder altogether. Setting the stage for our experiment, we introduce boiling stones and 200 grams, equivalent to 253 milliliters of ethanol into a 500 milliliter round bottom flask. As our source of tobacco, we utilize commercial grade filter cigarillos. These cigarillos are sectioned into two to five millimeter lengths with the filters discarded. The resulting 1.3 grams of cut cigarillos are deposited into the glass sample holder, which is then placed within the Soxlet apparatus well. The assembly of the Soxlet setup involves placing the Soxlet apparatus atop the round bottom flask and affixing the condenser onto the Soxlet apparatus, as demonstrated. It is imperative to employ the lowest possible chiller temperature for the condenser. In this instance, we maintain a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Considering the properties of ethanol, which boils at approximately 78 degrees Celsius or 173 degrees Fahrenheit under ambient pressure conditions, we set the heating mantle to medium intensity to boil the ethanol. Nicotine, accounting for roughly 0.6 to 3% of tobacco's dry weight, is our target compound. The chosen Cigarello brand for this experiment contains approximately 100 to 200 milligrams of nicotine per Cigarello, a notable contrast to the mere 8 milligrams found in conventional filter cigarettes. We used two Cigarellos. Here's an overview of the process you will witness. The heating mantle elevates the ethanol in the round bottom flask to its boiling point. Ethanol vapor emerges from the round bottom flask ascending while bypassing the Soxlet well and sample holder. Subsequently, the ethanol vapor condenses within the Allen condenser and drips onto the tobacco sample in the holder, initiating the dissolution of nicotine. Crucially, note that this technique constitutes a cold extraction process. The ethanol condensate enters the sample holder at a cold temperature, with no heating applied to the Soxlet well. The ethanol, infused with nicotine, permeates the glass frit filter at the sample holder's base. As additional ethanol condensate enters from the condenser, the Soxlet well fills gradually. This upward progression fills the first leg of the siphon. Once the solvent level attains the uppermost point of the siphon, it triggers a complete emptying of the Soxlet well through the siphon. Consequently, the solvent, along with the dissolved nicotine, flows back into the round bottom flask. This process sets the stage for a fresh cycle to initiate, and such cycles can be iterated without continuous supervision. While ethanol is heated, vaporized, and channeled to the condenser, 
the nicotine remains confined to the round bottom flask. Of course, the extracted compounds must have a higher boiling point than the solvent used. Otherwise, the extracted compounds would evaporate and follow the solvent to the condenser. Nicotine's boiling point is 247 degrees Celsius, equivalent to 477 degrees Fahrenheit. The efficacy of Soxlet extraction stems from the iterative distillation of the solvent. The integral Soxlet siphon mechanizes these cycles, enabling the separation of the solvent from the extract, which can be recycled without limit. At this point, we find ourselves midway through a cycle. Cold ethanol condensate drips onto the sample, filtering through the glass frit bottom and filling the Soxlet well. Notably, no solid particles pass through the filter. The solvent level now reaches the siphon's upper end. This mechanism fully drains the solvent from the Soxlet well into the round bottom flask. When dealing with low solubility substances in a solid matrix, the autonomy of Soxlet extraction, with its ability to operate through numerous cycles without constant oversight, proves invaluable. To provide further insight, we present a time-lapse sequence showcasing several cycles. The duration of a Soxlet extraction varies, contingent upon factors such as sample nature, target compound, and solvent employed. Although no rigid rule dictates duration, general guidelines have emerged. Extraction times for relatively small, highly soluble organic compounds can range from 6 to 8 hours. Common solvents include ethyl acetate or hexane. Polar compounds often necessitate lengthier extraction times due to their diminished solubility. Periods of 12 to 24 hours are typical, particularly when using solvents like methanol or ethanol. Complex compounds with substantial molecular weights may require extended extraction durations, potentially spanning several days. For semi-volatile compounds, shorter extraction times, 2 to 4 hours, might suffice, as these compounds could be lost to excessive heating. After the Soxlet extraction, the solvent can be evaporated from the round bottom flask. This can be achieved using a rotovap, also known as a rotary evaporator, leaving behind the pure extract, which, in our case, is nicotine. Although pure nicotine presents as a clear, colorless liquid, it is essential to knowledge its rapid oxidization, leading to a yellow to brown tint. Considering the involvement of nicotine, lab-grade ethanol, and other chemicals, it's paramount to adopt suitable personal protective equipment, such as gloves and safety glasses. Conduct this experiment in a well-ventilated environment or a fume hood. The utmost caution must be exercised when handling concentrated nicotine, as both pure nicotine and nicotine salts are hazardous substances with the potential for deadly nicotine poisoning. The Soxlet technique is a very effective extraction method that operates autonomously through numerous cycles, yielding commendable extraction rates. The adaptability of the Soxlet extractor positions it as an indispensable tool across various domains of advanced chemistry and analysis. Some of its prominent applications include natural product isolation. Phytochemistry and natural products research benefit significantly from Soxlet extraction. This technique facilitates the extraction of bioactive compounds from plants, seeds, and herbs. Extracted substances, such as alkaloids, flavonoids, and essential oils can be subjected to further analysis, potentially finding application in pharmaceuticals or the flavor industry. Environmental Analysis The Soxlet extractor expedites the analysis of contaminants in environmental samples. Pollutants like pesticides, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, and persistent organic pollutants, POPs, are efficiently extracted from soil, sediment, or plants. Food and Beverage Analysis In the realm of food chemistry, the Soxlet extractor plays a pivotal role in determining fat content. By extracting lipids from food samples, it enables nutritional labeling, quality assessment, and research into the impact of dietary fats on human health. Polymer analysis. Polymers necessitate the extraction of additives, plasticizers, and other compounds to understand material properties. The Soxlet extractor serves this purpose, contributing to polymer characterization and quality control. 
While the Soxlet extraction is a potent technique for the extraction of diverse compounds, it's essential to note its inherent limitations. The process can be slow and often incomplete. The efficacy is influenced by particle size, where smaller particles offer increased surface area for mass transfer but are prone to agglomeration. Conventional Soxlet setups lack mechanisms for agglomeration mitigation or extracting soluble compounds from rigid matrices, like botanical cells or tissues. A notable enhancement to Soxlet extraction is achieved through ultrasonication. At Heelshire Ultrasonics, we will gladly explain the advantages of incorporating ultrasonication into your Soxlet extraction process. Please contact us or visit www.heelshire.com forward slash Soxlet for further information. If you found this presentation interesting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more captivating videos. Thanks for watching.